Hi, so in this exercise, we're going to be using our straws, okay? Now the straws are gonna fit in the two F holes. They have a little circular bit. So we're gonna pop the straw inside. Don't worry, it will not hurt your instrument at all, okay? So if you need to give it a bit of a push, that's fine. Okay, and that's giving us a nice guide for our bow. Now when we're bowing on the string, we want to be playing between this side of the bridge, so not this side because it sounds all squeaky, whereas it sounds nice here. Okay, so we're gonna bow here. And for now, we're gonna use, we're gonna bow against the straw as a guide to keep our bows nice and straight, otherwise they can go like this. And we don't wanna get into a bad habit from the start. But make sure that you're bowing this side of the bridge. So, this side of the bridge and against the straw. Okay, so violas up on shoulders. Let's just run through and remember how we're gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that we're resting our jaw on the chin rest. I know that mine's in the center and you're, you guys, you've got them on the side. Okay, but it's not a chin rest like this. It's a jaw rest, okay. And it's just gonna sit on your shoulder. We don't want it too far out to the side because then we can't see what's going on but we don't want it right in front of us because then we're going to end up with a hunched back. So just pressing on your shoulder and then just make sure that the scroll is kind of in line, the same height as your nose. You don't want it too high up or too low down because that's going to cause you problems as well. Okay, so we've got a nice playing position. I'm just going to hold my viola here just because I need a little bit more security whilst I'm focusing on what I'm doing, going to do with the bow. So I'm going to grab my bow. Okay, in fact, I'm gonna get my bow hold ready first. This is where it gets a bit tricky. There's lots of things to set up before you start. So bow hold, okay, got that sorted. Excellent. Okay, now viola up. So jaw on the chin rest, on my shoulder. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, remember we've got our stickers on our bow. There we go, so the yellow one is the middle. And then we've got the three quarters, the, the other quarters. So we're gonna, this exercise, we're going from the red sticker up to the green sticker, okay. And we're gonna focus on going between all of the strings. And this is the one where we have to lift our elbow up and drop it down. High elbows when you are on the lowest string, which is obviously our C string. Lowest elbows when we're on the A string. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the bow slowly from the red sticker to the green sticker. And as I do that, I'm gonna lift my arm up and I'm gonna take myself from the A string over to the C string. And it should look and sound a little bit like this. Okay, let's do that again. So back to the red sticker. And now we need to try and keep an eye on a nice straight bow. Lovely. And then we're gonna go back the other way. focus on is trying to keep the hair of the bow flat against the string. So I wonder if I do it at this angle if you can see it. We don't want to tilt the bow so that the hair is sort of on the side because it's going to have a not a very nice sound. Okay, so that exercise I kind of call waterfalls because it's good for getting this going, which is um, a nice smooth string crossing because otherwise it can sound a bit like this. It just isn't as professional and you guys are all pros. Okay, so there's one more exercise that we're, well, technically two. Um, so we had the little game where we tried to hold the bow for as long as possible. Okay, so you're going to do, just try doing this on every string. So check that elbow. So you do have to check it before you start. It's the same height as your hand. 
And then we're gonna do a pull bow, which is what we call a down bow, for as long as we possibly can. Nice and slow. I'm gonna speed it up because we might be here all day. So we're gonna do that on all four strings, nice and slow. Okay, and then we're also gonna do up bows, okay? So starting on the C string. Now up bows, I find much harder than down bows, okay? Um, so you might want to, when you're doing this, actually watch the hair of your bow. Exercise, try not to move the bow too slowly that you get this kind of sound. Because it's just not very nice. But if you can manage to do slow bows with control, it means that when we start using quicker bows, which we're going to do in the next video, it's going to sound amazing and you're going to have more control over those. <laughs> 